Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number two here. So in, the, in question two, we're looking at finding um, standard deviation value. Okay, I'll just underline that here. Standard deviation in questions 2A, uh, B, and C. And then we're also asked to find in question D here, the mean. So if we look at our original equation, okay, for calculating z-scores, we have z-scores equal to the data point minus the mean all over sigma. So we can think of this as like an algebra equation where we're trying to figure out what are our unknowns <clears throat> and what we need to solve for. So in question 2a, what we're being asked to solve or isolate is the standard deviation value. So I'll just put, just put that here in blue, okay? And we need to isolate that in our question. So just do a little work here on this side. This is an equation where we could rearrange the terms. So we can do a simple cross multiply um, and bring the standard deviation up to the top. So it's going to be z times um, sigma is equal to x minus uh, the mean mu. Okay, and then we need to further isolate sigma. So, so we would divide both sides by z just like that so that this cancels out. And then this is our rearranged equation that we are going to use in part A, okay? Because we need to calculate the standard deviation. And then in part D, we're looking at, at calculating the mean. So if we went back to our original equation here, z is equal to x minus mu over sigma, okay? We need to find and isolate the letter u here in this case. So we can do the same kind of thing. We'll cross multiply to bring the sigma term to the top. Okay, and then we need to isolate the letter u. So that means this is, this is x minus u. So we want to get rid of the negative. So we're gonna do that by bringing it over to the other side. Okay, so the way we get rid of the negative u is that we um, add positive u. So this is gonna go away. Okay, and this is going to give us x, and then we're going to be left with, I'll just have to squeeze this in here, is z times sigma plus u. Okay, and then we have to further isolate u, which means we have to subtract z times sigma on both sides. So we're just going to essentially move that term over. So u will be by itself, and then we're going to be left with the final form of the equation right here. So these are the two equations that we have to rearrange. Okay, from our original one in order to figure out how to solve the rest of these problems. Okay, so once we have our equation set up, it's really just a matter um, of just plugging in the values. So we want to find standard deviation. Okay, so that's sigma. We know our data point, which is our score value, which is 86. Okay, so that's x. So we're going to go 86. We know our mean is 72, so I'll subtract 72 and then we're dividing it by the z-score of 2.41. All right, so when we plug that into our calculator, you'll get a standard deviation to two decimal spots of 5.81. And um, that's what you'll end up doing with all the other questions, B and C. All you have to do is just pull out the, the actual data points. Okay, and watch for negatives, because the z-score can be a negative value, so you can, you, your standard deviation um, should end up being positive. Uh, but just make sure that you watch with the with the minus signs um, as you do the uh, do the math there, and then then question D we want to find the mean so we know the mean is equal to the letter U or mu, and we start by using the score which is our data point fifty four minus the z score okay so the z score here is negative two point six six so watch that negative sign when it comes in and then the standard deviation is six point three nine. So when we put this in together and you multiply it out, remember this is going to be a two negatives here are gonna create a positive. So this is going to be 54. Um, and then we have negative 2.66 times 16, uh, times 6.39. <clears throat> and that's gonna give you a negative number, but then we're gonna have the negative in front, which means that it ultimately becomes positive. Okay, and our answer is going to be 54 plus 16.99, which is equal to 70.99. And I believe if you look in the answer key, they, we just round that up to the nearest whole number, which is 71. All right, so that's how you'd look at doing question two. Um, there's, the, the key is to figure out what formula you are using and to either 
have these written down um, ahead of time or take the base formula and just be comfortable in doing the cross multiplication and isolating the variable that you want to find um, and just going through it carefully so that you don't make um, any mistakes. Okay.